Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic fans. Let me adjust this camera here a little bit. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am here with my look at the 2021 player cards from the baseball set, as I promised. As you can see, I have broken the teams down into their various uh, teams and put them in <clears throat> seven coin envelopes. And then I printed off the uh, logos for every team and, uh, you know, put them in a Word document and wrote, you know, where they finished and what their record was, and yada, yada, yada. And so we have them all broken down uh, <clears throat> the way they would be. Um, if, you know, if they were broken into their teams, which, um, I do have. Done. Done. <clears throat> so, we're going to take a look at some cards that may be of interest to everybody. Um, let's, of course, start with the New York Mets. And, uh, everybody, I think, wants to see... Uh, you know, I, I had the DeGrom card from the computer on my last show, but I think no matter whether you saw it on the last one or not, it's always one that is of interest to everybody. I got to remember the way I'm doing this is I'm going to do the reverse image. So here it is. That is his card. And uh, much, it looks much like the computer version did. Um, so again, here's the front of it. I got to remember to turn these upside down when I uh, per, um, show them. All right. So you got the, you got him. And let's see if there was anybody else. You know what? It strikes me that whoa. Look at Heath Hembry. Check that card out. That guy gives up some home runs. That's not his batting card, is it? Nope, that's not his batting card. <clears throat> so there's his pitching card. Yeah, so we'll look at not only the All-Stars, but we will look at some interesting players just to see what their cards look like. Um, although I will have to try to do this in an expeditious manner. You got Javi, Javi Baez. Check that card out. That's a pretty good card right there on the front for sure. And then uh, here he is on the back. Try to get these up there so that you can see them really well. Again, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus enough to do that, but. <clears throat> And, uh, <clears throat> of course, we had Francisco Lindor, who had a very uh, depressing season. Very uh, un-Francisco Lindor-like. And there is the back of his card. So, I'm not going to spend too much more time on the Mets, because... <laughs> They weren't very good. Or even Sam Clay. No, we're not going to look at Sam Clay. Okay, so. Hmm. Well, let's look at uh, Tanner Rainey. That guy has a pretty bad pitching card, too. Check that out. And there's the back of his card. A lot of walks from that guy. From that guy. Victor Robles was a center field one. And on the back, well, all right, on the back he's a two. So for all intents and purposes, he's really a two. So, but there's the back of his card. Center field two with a negative three arm. But that's the front of the card, and as you can see on the front of the card, the man is a center field one. So, let's look through here. Yeah, 
Here's Juan Soto. This isn't uh, Scherzer, but here's Juan Soto. He's another guy of uh, interest for many people in many leagues. There's the front of his card. And there's the back of his card, which, as we all know, is the side of the card that's played with in the um, computer game version. Now, if you play head-to-head -head and you were me, you would play the front of the cards, because I like playing the front of the cards. I just... But here's Philadelphia, <clears throat> and here is Bryce Harper. Now, he was another guy that I looked at in the computer game version um, in my first look at the game when it first came out. But it never hurts to look at a Bryce Harper again. There he is. There's the back of the card. Very good player, Bryce Harper. Right field two, negative three, arm. Okay, uh, second to last guy we're going to look at on the Phillies is Reese Hopkins. There he is. He hit 246, but the front of the card, you can see he had some, he had some home run power, and he did have a pretty good front of the card. And... This is the back of the card. Mr. Reese Hopkins. And the last guy we're going to look at on the Phillies, one of their acquisitions from last year, Zach Wheeler. And there's the front of Zach Wheeler's card. And... There is the back of the card. And now you got the World Series champion uh, Atlanta Braves. And again, I realize I really can't go through every single team, so we're not going to do that. Here was Ronald Acuna Jr. before he went down. This is the front of the card. Pretty good stats, pretty good card. And there is the back of his card. There is Freddie Freeman. There's Freddie Freeman on the top, or on the uh, on the uh, basic side. And here is Freddie Freeman on the back of the card. Again, the the, the side that's played on the computer. And that's all we're gonna do for the braid. All right, Pittsburgh, we're not going to do Pittsburgh. The Cubs, you know, there's only really one notable guy on the Cubs that I want to take a look at, and he's right here, and that is Frank Schwindel. And there is the front of Frank Schwindel's card. I have been advised, do not pick this guy in the draft because he's like 27 or 28 years old and may only have gotten playing time because the Cubs stripped down to their um, bare, you know, not even good form. But what do you guys think? But anyway, here he is, Frank Schwindel at the back of the card. I'm still considering getting him because I need a first baseman. But that's all we're going to look at for the Chicago Cubs. Uh, the Reds, let's take a look, see if there's anybody on the Reds. Well, this T.J. Antone, he looks good on the front of the card. Relief pitcher, of course, he only pitched 34 innings. So if you have a league that plays close to the actual usage, you're going to have a problem uh, with him. But this card is great, though. Uh, 
I might even consider getting that guy, even though he can pitch, he can only pitch 34 innings. Now you got uh, rookie Jonathan India. Second base three, there's the front of the card. And there's the back of the card. I know a guy in our league who is definitely planning on drafting him. On the Brewers, the only guy I really want to look at is this man, their reliever, Josh Hader. And there's the front of Hader's card. And there's the back of his card. Nice card for Josh Hader. He, unfortunately, will not be in our draft because he's already on a, t on a team, so... All right, L.A., here we go, the L.A. Dodgers. They probably have quite a few players, including, yes, here he is. is this the right one? Yes, this looks like the right one. Mr. Max Scherzer. And that's the front of his card. 179 innings pitched. And there's the back of his card. Got to wonder how much longer he can do that. Let's see if there's anybody else I want to look at on this team. Here's a guy who had an upsetting year, and that is Corey Bellinger. I drafted this guy, I traded to get him back once, and now I traded him back away and do not have him anymore. He was a center field one, right field one, first base two. Let's see if that holds true on the back. Yes, it does. And there's the, there is the back, the advanced side of Bellinger's card. Very, like I said, disappointing. You got to wonder who's the real Bellinger. Another guy with a great relief card, Alex Vizia, again on L.A. That's the front of his card, but again, can't pitch a full year, although he can pitch 40 innings. And that's the uh, advanced side of his card. In fact, now that I know about this guy, I might have to put him on my draft list and high on my draft list. But let me know what you guys think. And here's Trey Turner. Hit 328. This is the front of the card. And there's the back of his card. This is a really, really good card. This is a crazy good card. We're going to look at it on L.A. because we don't have all year is Max Muncy. And there's the front of his card. And this is the back of his card. But that's it for L.A. San Diego, we're just going to look at their uh, superstar guy there, their shortstop. Forget his name, but I'll know it when I come across him. And there he is, Fernando Tati Jr.
that's the front of the card and he is a shortstop 2 e36 so he makes a lot of errors he can get to a lot of balls but he makes a lot of errors and there is the advanced side of his card San Francisco, we're just going to look at one guy who really had a great year, been on a few different teams. Well, actually, we're going to look at a couple of different guys. There's Chris Bryant, and that's the front of Chris Bryant's card. And there's the back of Chris Bryant's card. The advanced side, we might call it, because that's what it is. Figures it has to be all the way at the bottom. And here he is, Kevin Gosman, starting pitcher, had an awesome year for the Giants. There's the uh, basic side of the card. And there, my friends, is the advanced and uh, super advanced and everything else advanced side of the card. Um, I did get a request uh, in the last from the last video to look at one uh, one particular in particular uh, Blue Jay player let's look at a couple of them the first one is Marcus Simeon he had a really good year and there's the front of his card a lot better year than a lot of people probably expected based on the year before and there's the advanced side of his card. And here he is, Vladdy. Vlad Guerrero, there's the front of his card. And there is the back of Vlad's card, the advanced side. We're gonna look at a couple of Yankees, maybe. There is, for one thing, there's Stanton's card. He was pretty good. That's the front. And there's the back. Here's Garrett Cole. There's the front. And again, Garrett Cole was in my previous video where I uh, did my uh, initial look at the game right after I got it. But here he is again. It bears another look because he was one of the better pitchers in Major League Baseball last year. Of course, after they started enforcing the, uh, the uh, spider tag rule, he did have some rough outings, so... Funny how that would work. And the final guy we're going to look at on the Yankees is Aaron Judge. And there he is. That's the front of the card. And there's the back of the card.
And that's all we're going to look at for the Yankees, even though, again, there are a lot of interesting characters on the Yankees that we could be looking at, but we won't. We're not going to look at any Rays. We're not going to look at any Texas Rangers. Uh, we'll look at a couple of Angels, because the Angels, of course, have Otani, for one. So we'll have to find him. There's Otani on the front of the card on his pitching card. Again, very good. And there is Otani's advanced side pitching card. Again, this is the pitching card for Otani. And there is the front of the hitting card, the basic hitting card for Otani. Really great card. 46 home runs in 537 at bats will get you that. And then there's the back of the card, the advanced hitting card side for Otani. We had a precipitous drop off, Anthony Rendon. There is the basic side of Anthony Rendon's card. And there is the, let me try to straighten it out a little bit for you. There's the advanced side of Anthony Rendon's card. A lot worse. Uh, for the Angels in year one than he was on the Nationals the year prior to joining the Angels. Not going to do any A's. Not going to do any Mariners. Houston will do a couple of Houston players. Here's Carlos Correa, or Correa. There's the basic side of his card. 26 home runs, and he is a shortstop 1E12. And there's the advanced side. This guy, I just like his card. Jose Siri, there's the front of his card. That is an awesome front of the card. Of course, only like 46 at bats. So if you draft this guy in a league, you're only going to get 46 at bats out of him. If your league limits uh, overuse, and most leagues do some kind of overuse uh, check. Otherwise, a guy like this could just play all year and be awesome. And uh, most leagues don't want to see that happen. All right, that's it for Houston. Not going to look at any uh, twins because we're running out of time. We're not going to look at any Kansas City guys. Let's look at a couple of Detroit players. Because Detroit, I think, is an up-and-coming team. And I think in the coming years, they are going to be some serious uh, competition for the White Sox. You heard it here first. The guy, I just love his name, Grayson Griner. I might actually draft this guy. 72 at-bats, though, so you can only get 72 at-bats out of him. There's the back of his card. Robbie Grossman, always an intriguing player. Um, and a good base stealer and base runner. But he had a 357 on base percentage too. There's the uh, 
the basic side of his card. And there is the advanced side of Robbie Grossman's card. Now somebody in our league has him. I'm, I'm debating whether I want to trade for him or not. Joe Jimenez, relief pitcher, not very good. Um, he he came out of the scene like wildfire when he was uh, a rookie. But since then, he's had a rough go of it. And, uh, yeah, he hasn't pitched well. And we'll look at an icon of baseball, Miguel Cabrera. Not a good card, though, but there's his basic card. And there is his advanced card. Can you imagine what Detroit could do if they weren't hamstrung by this guy's uh, contract? I mean, he was great in the past. And I think he's going to definitely be in the Hall of Fame someday, but... Now he is not so good. Not going to look at any Indians. And now we're going to look at the White Sox. Funny how they just turned out to be the last team. So there is Dylan Cease. There's the front of Dylan Cease's card. Because you know we're going to look at some White Sox. We're not just going to look at one or two. And there is the back of Dylan Cease's card. The advanced side. And now you got the main man, Lewis Robert. There's the basic side of his card. And there is the advanced side, center field one with a negative three cannon. He is on somebody's team in our league, though, so. You got Garrett Crochet, or Crotchet, or however you want to pronounce it. There's the uh, basic side of his card. And there's the advanced side. And I know you guys are sitting at home saying, Damn, why did this guy have to be a White Sox fan? I don't want to see the White Sox. And this is Kimbrel. This is the combined crim yeah, this is the combined Kimbrel, the 60 inning pitched for both teams combined Cubs and White Sox. And there's the back of his card because I, I got news for you. The White Sox version of his card, the just White Sox version, not good. Or at least it shouldn't be, because he was terrible for us. <coughs> There's Gavin Sheets, first year player, Gavin Sheets. He'll be in most most teams' drafts, unless you have a league that allows you to draft minor leaguers, which I am in one that does. And there's the uh, advanced side of Gavin Sheets' card. Here is Yerman Mercedes. Who doesn't remember Yerman Mercedes? He blasted onto the scene, was out of there like wildfire. And then uh, Tony La Russa was very critical of him hitting a home run off of uh, um, Ostadio, who is a position player for the Twins. And the White Sox were killing him so bad they brought Ostadio in to pitch. And um, Mercedes had a home run off of him, and La Russa was very critical of him and even kind of condoned them going after Mercedes if they wanted to. Um, I thought he handled that whole situation very poorly, um, but that is what it is. Here is Eloy Jimenez. Eloy, and there's the basic side of the card. And there is the advanced side. Of course, he got off to a slow start and a start later in the season because he had torn his pectoral muscles 
in uh, going for a fly ball in spring training. So not the best of cards. Then you've got, of course, you've got the former Nat Giolito. And there is the basic side of the card. And there is the um, advanced side. And we are going to look at just one more guy, and that is, well, maybe two. There's the one of them, and that's Jose Abreu, their first baseman. That's the basic side of the card. And there is the advanced side of the card. And now the last guy we're going to look at is a guy who had a great year, came out of nowhere, Carlos Rodon, left-handed starting pitcher. There's the basic side of the card. And there is the advanced side of his card. And he is going to be in our draft because I was stupid enough to cut him. Because I just did not think, coming off of arm surgery and with the uh, way he'd been so inconsistent, I thought there's no way this guy is going to have a good season goes to show what I know. So, uh, here is my, let's let you see this, Sportsman Z, there's my email, and there is my Twitter handle. And of course, these are in the description, too. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.